What's going on, everybody? Uh, back with another break for you guys. Uh, it's a cool box that I was able to uh, get for today's break. It's a box of 1995 Upper Deck SP. Um, so it was pretty cool. I've never opened a box of this. Yeah, I wish it was the uh, 93 box or even the 94 box with the Jeter in the 93 and the A-Rod in the 94, but... Um, I guess there'd be some pretty cool finds in here. There's a Nomo card in here that hopefully I'll be able to find. Jeter and A-Rod are still in these uh, packs, but uh, how valuable they are, not as much as the 93 or the 94, I'll tell you that much. So, it is completely sealed. Um, older box, as you guys can see, there's like the, I guess the odds on a couple of the things in there if you guys wanted to check that out. But, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Hopefully we can get some uh, interesting pulls out of this thing. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you checking out the video. Hanging out for a little while. See what we, what we could find in this. But, uh, I'll be breaking baseball right now with 1995 Upper Deck SP. Let's kind of check it out here. It's kind of torn at the bottom. Let's just open this up. Probably... Box is kind of cool. Kind of keep boxes sometimes if they're kind of cool looking. I'll probably hang on to this box. Just maybe put some cards in it or something. Maybe these cards I'll keep in it. Kind of can tell it's a little bit old. Let's leave that there then. Well, that's cool. Check that out. It kind of opens up right there. You guys can check out that box. Probably. On the hobby stores, it was probably opened up right here, maybe. Something like that. But it's pretty nice. Solid box right there. Inside, I don't know how many packs we got in here. Oh, well, you can see right there, it says 32 foil packs per box. So these are pretty cool, though. 32 packs per box. Let's just kind of take these out. We'll set that guy kind of maybe right there. Check it out, I guess. I don't know. Leave that right there, I guess. And let's see what we could find inside here. Never rip these packs. You can tell these are kind of old. 1995 is kind of when I was... I was a kid back then. I'd get baseball packs here and there. I remember my grandma would get them for me. She gave me a whole bunch of stuff back in the day when I was a kid. I'm not sure how these are going to feel. Rip these open. Let's see here. Yeah, you can see that design. They're like all foil looking. It's pretty cool cards. Juan Acevedo is the first one. These are, oh, that's like a die cut. Kind of cool. Upper deck used to do that holographic deal at the bottom. It's pretty nice though. Juan Acevedo, Premier Prospect card. That's cool. And these are pretty much, I think, with the red on the side is, I think, how these cards are going to end up coming out. Back of the cards. Greg Cagney. Interesting set, though. Interesting set already. I, I like the whole design. With the red right there. That's cool. It's pretty cool. I guess all of them are going to be like that. There's a Ricky Henderson right there. It's not anything on the card. That's the actual wall. It looks like the card is messed up, but no. I wonder if he got that one. Maybe he did get it right there. That Ricky Henderson. Some stats right there from the 94 season. It says 90 season was his best one, I guess, at the time. I'll set that one aside. It's a nice Henderson. And we got some blue ones brett boone right here blue sides right there i wonder if blue ones are going to be a handful red ones maybe a couple of them too so that's just nice it's just got that classic look to it I like it so i'm hoping that we can find a jeter that we can find a, a rod just for maybe nostalgia reasons i don't know doug darbeck what is going on here so here's another one 
It's got that like platinum looking color, silver maybe. Don't know what's going on with those boxing gloves though. Chandler Hill. Like the design though already. Let me let me know what you guys think about this design. But uh, it's cool that I found these things. I did find them on eBay from a seller. Packaged them up real nice for me. Sent them out. Got them pretty quick. Check that one out. There's a Nolan Ryan right there. It's a die cut on its own. Nolan Ryan. What's that corner say? SP. Yeah, it's a cool card. Nice Nolan Ryan. And it's got his career stats, looks like. Or at least up to 93 it does. That's a long career right there. Nice Nolan Ryan card, though. And let's see, we got a Manny Ramirez. Old Manny Ramirez. Before Manny was being Manny, he had regular hair, looks like. It's a nice card, too. Look at Manny right there. Before Manny would in L.A., way before. Before he was even a Red Sox. It's a cool card. I'm going to set that one aside. Maybe just for me. Nice Chuck Finley. We got Jay Buhner. I remember Jay Buhner. Todd Zeal. Yeah, these are some old names that I used to uh, hear back in the day when I was playing ball, Little League ball. And there is Million Dollar Man Bobby Bonilla. If you guys don't know, uh, the Mets are still paying Bobby Bonilla million dollars every year. Uh, forgive me, I forgot what day, but there's a day in July where the Mets pay this guy still to this day. He's been retired for 15 years or something crazy, but crazy deal the Mets did. If you guys don't know about it, check it out on YouTube. Bobby Bonilla Day. Retired, but yet still getting paid by the Mets. Crazy. John Burkett. There's another one of those silver looking, looking ones. Charlie Hayes. Right there. That's cool. So I don't even think, unlike hobby boxes now, we're guaranteed a relic or we're guaranteed an uh, autograph. I don't think there's a guaranteed hit in here, but you never know. You never know. Could find something cool in here. Even these packs, they open up like, like foil, kind of, sort of speak. There's a Ozzy Smith on the back. Ooh, we got Premier Prospects. I have no idea. Ungeth Urbinia. I don't know if any of you Expos fans remember that guy. We got a... I can't even really read that. John Nunali? I don't know. There's Roger Clemens. He's a nice Hall of Famer. Or future Hall of Famer, I would think. That's a nice card. We'll put that over there. It's Dennis Eckersley. Looks like he just shut down the side right there, maybe. Put that aside. Steve Avery, We've got a Shane Andrews, it's Hall of Famer right there, look at that one, that's a Craig Biggio, I don't know how much these cards would be worth, you know, he's a, Craig Biggio's a Hall of Famer, at this point, I don't know exactly how many years he was with the league, oh there it goes, it says it right on the bottom, seven year total, so I guess at this point he was in the league for seven years, but it's a nice Hall of Famer right there, and of course, the Wizard of Oz, it's like he got handcuffed. I'm wondering who would want to put that picture of Ozzy in there. Unless he was just flipping it out of his glove and barehanded that ball right there on the way to throw a guy out. It's a nice Ozzy. Let's see what else what we can find inside of this box. Now, I've had this box for a few weeks. I was really excited about breaking this open because I've never seen any of this. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. There's a Ruben Rivera Prospects card. Got an Alan Trammell. Nice card. And we got a JT Snow. I remember JT Snow. He had a major injury, I think, to his eye, if I'm not mistaken, with the ball. But he was a good player, a good first baseman. Terry Steibach. Fred McGriff. Like he just took one over the fence, maybe. Got another Craig Biggio. Yeah, I'm really wondering about stuff like this. He's Craig Biggio card. These are really nice cards, I think. Look at that. 
It's Ozzy Smith. There's another Ozzy. So we pulled a Ozzy red, Ozzy, I guess we'll call it silver. And then we pulled a Biggio blue and a Biggio silver. So those are that's not those are nice. Those are real nice. Bip Roberts right there. I didn't even really see what I was on. Platinum power insert cards are back. So I guess they're considered platinum, those silver looking cards. So I guess we'll start calling them platinum. Unless I find a whole card in here that looks completely platinum. Alright, first up we got a Ray Durham. We got a Donnie Baseball. Don Mattingly right there, who should definitely, I would think, be in the Hall of Fame. Put you aside, Donnie. Got a Rafael Palmero. Got a Alex Gonzalez. Jason Bates. Ramon Martinez. It's a cool card. You guys know I love the Dodgers. We'll put aside the Dodger cards. Put those up there. And here we go. It's a die cut checklist card. Of Wade Boggs. I think that's Wade Boggs. That's kind of the angle. It. There it is right there. See that on the bottom? That's, that's like the nicest checklist card I have ever seen. <laughs> Man. I mean, compare that to, you know, if you guys watched my video from the other day, I did a 08 update. I mean, look at the checklist. That's a basic checklist right there, right? Compared to 1995 Upper Deck, look at that card. That is a nice card, and if you ask me, I'd rather get checklists. If they put checklists in boxes still today, I would love it to look like that. That's Hall of Famer Wade Boggs right there, and a Dave Clark. So, let's keep this going. I wonder what else we can find in here. We're still wanting to come across Jeter. Still wanting to come across A-Rod. I'm definitely wanting to come across that Nomo. Being as I am that uh, Dodger fan here. George Brett. I'll put that guy aside. Rick, Rick Aurelia? Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. You know, some of these cards are still like... Got that fuzz on the end of them from when they were cut, I guess, from the sheet. Wilson Alvarez. Yvonne Rodriguez. There's Pudge right there. Nice card. Hall of Famer. That's a really nice card. I like it. I like that card. Terry Pendleton. Is that Mike Piazza? That's not. Is it? No. That can't. No, it's Mark McGuire. <laughs> Man, for a second I'm like... Forgot what era we were opening here. Kind of a quick glance. Looks like Piazza when he was with the A's, but it's a premier power card. Mark McGuire. That's a cool card. And we got a Mark Langston platinum card. And there's that. Let's get ready to box Rod Beck again. Okay. Let's keep it going here. So if you guys are reminiscent about some of these old players, man. Comment that down in the bottom. Love to hear who you, you know, used to follow back in the day. Some of these guys, when I'm saying their names, it's like, man, I remember that. Well, here's a prospect, Freddy Garcia. It's got a big, like, what happened to that thing? It was in the box, but it looks like something hit it right on the side right there, if you guys can kind of see that. It's kind of fatter. That's a bummer. Let's see what we got. We got Kevin Tapani. Oh, check this card out. Craig Biggio. Let me put this down for a minute. I have no idea. Effects. Special effects card. There's like... It's like a hologram picture of Biggio right in the middle. Or offset right on the left right there. That's an interesting card. I mean, Biggio's a Hall of Famer, so I don't know. Let's see what these cards are worth. Maybe on eBay. You guys can check them out. I mean, I don't have eBay next to me right now or anything, but... That's a pretty nice card right there. It's pretty clean. You got a little bit of something right there on the corner, but it's a nice card, especially because Vigio's a Hall of Famer. Let's keep going with this. Let's see who else we can find in here. Pat Henchin. We got a Jeff Conine. 
Remember Jeff Conine. We have Brian Hunter. Chuck Nobelbach. I don't know. I don't know if I pronounced that right. It's all good. And we got Joey Hamilton. Alright. And again, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Shoot a comment down. Let me know what you guys think. If you'd rather see more of the modern new stuff. Is it Gwen on the back? If you'd rather see more of the new modern stuff, or if you like every so often, throwback. Uh, I like kind of doing some of these old things every so often, so it's pretty cool to me. Was that a Mike Schmidt? It is a Mike Schmidt, looks like. Yep, Mike Schmidt right there, die cut. Really nice. We've got a Dave Winfield, Carlos Bayerga, Tino Martinez, these up close and personal cards, Reggie Sanders, Jeff Facero, and we got a Randy Myers, and there's our Tony Gwynn. Mr. Padre himself, Tony Gwynn. I just lo I love the design on these things, man. I really do. I really do. You see all these new inserts are coming out with in tops. The 85 anniversary, the 35th anniversary, the 85s, the 84s last year. Man, I know this isn't tops. I know this is upper deck, but man, maybe they should take a little, a little piece of this and... Maybe we get some design ideas from these cards because this is, these are really, really nice. Ruben Rivera, Prospects card. Jose Valentin. There's the big hurt right there. Frank Thomas. Very nice. We got a Paul Molitor. Jose Rio. Rijo. Uh, Roger Sedeno. There's something in that blue right there, man. See that? There's like a something right there. But I do save the Dodger cards either way. And look at that. Edgar Martinez. It's a very nice Ed Edgar Martinez card right there. And last card in this one is a Barry Bonds. It's interesting. Barry Bonds card. Hmm. Huh. Next pack up. And there's a lot of packs in here, too. That's another good thing about this set. Um, a lot of cards to open up, so I hope you guys are enjoying the break. There's a Ray Durham. Let's see who we got. We got a Wally Joyner. Move on. Move on. Mickey Tettleton. Randy Myers. Billy Ashley. I don't know what's going on with what's what's happening with these? There's a, another mark right there, right on that top. It's another Dodger. Someone didn't like the Dodgers in this set or something. Shane Andrews and a Dave Hollins. Well, let's keep going real quick. And next pack up, we got Freddie Garcia prospects card. We got a Jeff Montgomery, Chili Davis. I remember watching Chili Davis. First baseball game my dad ever took me to was at Angel Stadium. And I remember those were the days of Chili Davis. Definitely remember that. John Wetland. We got a Sammy Sosa. It's young Sammy. There's that scratch right there. I don't know what that is. Man, that's that's a bummer. I don't know what that is. It's not across... It doesn't look like it's across the whole card. Just across the foil part on the design. That's a, that's a nice card, though. It is a little bit busted. Here's a Ripken. There's Iron Man right there. Cal Ripken Jr. That's a nice card. We got a... Woo, try that one. Heathcliff Solcum. All right. And last card, Bernard Giggly, Gilkey. All right. So uh, let's see what is in the next. Still looking for that Jeter. 
Still looking for the A-Rod. Still looking for the Nomo. CJ Nitkowski. There's Kirk Gibson. Right there. Mike Mussina. When he was with the Orioles. Nice Mussina card. A lot of us probably remember him with the Yankees. It's Ruben Sierra. Tom Glavin. Nice card right there. He's got that on the top. Tom Glavin. Bill Pulpser. Wow. I remember watching Mark Grisalonic on the Dodgers. Wow, that's like a that's a platinum premier prospects card. That's cool. It's a nice card. And last one, Ray Langford. Looking like Ozzy Smith right there, trying to do a flip after he's swinging the bat or something. Huh. Wonder what he was doing there. That's an interesting one. If you guys know what he was doing, put it in the comments. I'm interested in knowing what the heck he was doing right there. First card up. Oh, Mark Gresselonic again. I wonder how many prospect cards were in here. I mean, if we're able to pull a platinum one and I don't know what you want to call that one, a bronze one. Wondering, just wondering. Chad Curtis. We got uh, Aaron Seal. And there's A-Rod right there. Young A-Rod. So I'm not mistaken, this should be his second year card. Um, 94 would have been his rookie card. You know, of course A-Rod's not in the Hall of Fame. And I was big on A-Rod in the 90s, man. I just... His career got tainted with all that steroid scandal man he just kind of blew up when he ended up with the yankees for some reason he had an awesome career up until that point his career was great but it's just kind of you know you get a major leaguer when his name is surrounded with uh steroid talk he kind of tarnishes your career if you ask me but you know what i mean i was always an a-rod fan so it's a bummer that his career may have an asterisk by it, or maybe he'll never get into a Hall of Fame. I don't know, but I, that's a nice card. That's one of the cards that I personally was looking for. Um, so I'm glad we got that one. Here's a Marquise Grissom. Marquise Grissom used to play for the Dodgers, the Giants. And it was crazy. I was living in Arizona for a little while, and I ran into Marquise Grissom in Arizona at a grocery store. I literally ran into the guy, and I told him, oh, excuse me, man. I looked at him, and it was Marquise Grissom, and I asked him, you're Marquise Grissom, aren't you? And he said, yeah. He was just shopping, regular shirt on. Wasn't really drawing too much attention, but that was crazy. I kind of literally ran into him. There's a Delino DeShields of the Dodgers. I remember watching him as a kid. There's a Roger Clemens, one of them platinum ones right there, and a Denny Neagle. Next pack keep opening these up man i mean we we're almost done with the first pack seems like i've been opening these packs for a little while already and we're, we're not even done with the first stack here so first card we got antonio osuna it's one of those prospect cards i kind of put that aside it's a dodger uh scott stavoyk stavoyak making the play right there Tim Nearing. Got a uh, Roberto Alomar. Check that one out. That looks old. If I were to have guessed, I would probably put that later than uh, the 90s. Probably put that somewhere in the 80s, but maybe still got that kind of 80 swag going into the 90s right there. Vinny Castilla. There is a nice Pedro. Look at that Pedro card. That's nice right there, man. I mean, say what you want about Pedro, man. This is his third year card? Fourth year card, probably. Pedro Martinez. Nice card right there. We got uh, Kevin Tapani. And last one, Ken Hill. All right. Let's see what we got next. I didn't look up a checklist. Oh, speaking of checklists, here's the uh, 
Here's the other, the awesome checklist again right there. I think this is a different one. I think the other one we had was silver bordering. But still, man, that's an awesome checklist. It doesn't get better than that, I don't think. At least I've never seen. If you guys know of a better checklist, let me know. There's these markings on these cards, man. That's a bummer. Jack McDowell. I guess I would rather have it on a Jack McDowell than an A-Rod. No offense to Jack McDowell. Dennis Martinez. I think he's a manager now, or was a manager. I don't know if he's still managing somewhere. We've got a Sean Green card. Sean Green, I think he still holds a record for most total bases in a baseball game with like 16 or something. Can't remember the year, but it was when he was with the Dodgers and he was playing, if I'm not mistaken, against the Brewers. He hit like four home runs and a double or something like that. Something crazy. He just totally lit him up. And I always used to love Sean Green when he was uh, playing because he would always give his batting gloves after he hit a home run to a fan in the stands. He would take them off right there before he went into the dugout and he would throw them to a fan. Uh, I thought that was always cool. I think there's two cards kind of sticking a little bit. Uh, yeah, Sean Green and there's a Gary Sheffield. Hopefully one day Sheffield, man, he'll get into the Hall of Fame. Uh, hopefully. He's gaining some momentum, I think. Gaining some votes as the years go on. Sheffield right there, doing that top hand, bottom hand exercise right there on the T. Got a Phil Nevin, got a Sean Green again. There's that platinum card, and Eddie Williams. So two more packs from the first stack to go. Let's see what we got next. Got a Dustin Hermanson prospect card. Joe Oliver, Robin Ventura, we got a Dean Palmer, Hall of Famer Barry Larkin, nice card right there, put that aside, Platinum Power card of Hall of Famer Jim Tomey, real nice, Jim Tomey right there, Terry Pendleton, and last one, Mark Portugal. So here is the last pack of the first stack. Uh, we've found a rod so far, so that's cool. And we're still looking for, I would hope, I would hope I would find a Jeter in here. And I want that, for me, I want that Nomo card. I do. So, Prospect Carlos Perez. There's that card there. What was I doing here? I mixed up my pile. Sorry, guys. Give me one second here. Okay. Got a Chuck Novelbach again. I think I already pulled his. Albert Bell. I used to like this guy because his name was Albert as well. <laughs> but he was a good player. He's also a good player. Will Clark. That's a nice Will Clark right there. Very nice card. Andres Galarraga, got a Will Cordero, Greg Jeffries, and a Steve Finley right here. Young Steve Finley, I would think. Oh, there's a ding on it. I always remember Steve Finley for his walk-off home run, I think, in the 04 season when he was with the Dodgers. Walked off the final game of the season, or... I think it was the final game of the season, and he sent the Dodgers to the playoffs. Watched that game in person. It was awesome. The stadium erupted. Really, really cool. Here's a, another checklist. Dave Winfield. It's a cool card. Greg Vaughn. We've got a Tim Salmon. All you Angels fans out there. I know you guys love you some Tim Salmon, for sure. Now you're probably more excited about another fish on the team, Mike Trout, right? Mike Trout is not in this set. Uh, we've got an Edgar Martinez. We've got a Mark Grace. Rico Borgna. Ray Durham. Platinum Prospects, I would say, right here. Pulling a lot of the same Prospects cards. They're nice cards. There's a J-Bell. But, uh, yeah, those are very nice platinum prospects card so here's the first pack of the second stack 
Still looking for Jeter. And there we go. I like this card. All right. So that is the Premier Prospect Hideo Nomo card right there. It's kind of got maybe a little. That looks fine. For me, this is just this is the card that I really was hoping that I could find, and that's just for for me. It's not a very crazy, crazy, um, like super high valued card on eBay or anything like that. But me being a Dodgers fan and really, really loving the Dodgers, I still love the Dodgers. But back in the the mid '90s, man, Nomo came up and he just turned heads, made some noise. I mean, he was the Rookie of the Year. Um, you know, in my opinion, I always thought that they should have retired his number. But, you know, it's all good. 16 went to another Dodger beloved, Andre Ethier, which I'm sure the Dodgers might retire that number. Maybe. Who knows? But I'm glad I got that card for me. Actually, I'm going to put that in right here. Just because it's my break, and that's one of the ones I was looking for, and I got it. So... We got the A-Rod, we got the Nomo, just for what I was looking for. Now, right in the middle, I would like to put that Jeter if he's in here. Again, it would be Jeter's uh, third-year card, but I think that it's still a nice card, just because of the design on this. Michael Tucker. We got a Mark Lanskin. Lanskin. Juan Gonzalez. And a really good player, man, but he just was surrounded by those early steroid uh, stuffs that was going on. Here's a Chipper Jones. Love me some Chipper Jones. I do collect Chipper Jones cards. I'll put that one aside. It's Charles Johnson. We got a Mike McFarlane and a Brian Jordan. I remember when he was on the Dodgers too. Uh, keep it going. Let's see what else we can find as we take it back to 1995. So Eddie Murray, awesome checklist card. Lou Whitaker, got a Jeffrey Hammonds, Todd Stoudemire, there's another Greg Maddox, I think we pulled his card already. Platinum Power, Matt Williams, these insert cards are interesting. And we've got a Donnie Baseball again. Nice platinum one. And a Kurt Schilling. Nice card. Okay. As we continue with the break, starting it off, we got a Tony Clark prospects card, Eddie Murray. That's a nice Eddie Murray card. Uh, John Valentin. Paul O'Neill. David Justice, Tony Tarasco, and a nice Randy Johnson, Tom Henneke. Man, that Randy Johnson card right there, that's a nice card too, man. Seven year total, 370 ERA, 12 shutouts at that point. And it's a future Hall of Famer. Or he is in the Hall of Fame, I'm talking. When this card was put out, this guy was going to be destined for the Hall of Fame. Never forget when he hit that bird in mid-flight, that was crazy video if you've never seen that youtube that randy johnson threw a fastball and it knocked out a bird feathers flew everywhere and let's see what's next up jimmy hurst prospects card we got a cecil fielder remember used to watch him crush some baseballs brandy anderson there's a wade boggs Larry Walker, it's a nice card. Brett Butler, I used to love watching him bunt big time. I think he was one of the best bunters in the league. Brian McRae, and a Carlos Garcia. So I guess we're about halfway through the second second stack of cards. I appreciate you guys checking out the video out. What happened there? What is going on here? That just kind of fell out of the pack. I have no idea what that is. It looks like part of a card or something. I'm going to leave that on the table. I don't know what that was. 
Oh, I wonder if it was part of probably one of these die cut. Maybe it didn't come off all the way or yeah, I probably got put in the pack with it or something. Huh, interesting. Okay. Jose Malve. Prospects card. Got a Carl Eld Eldred. Harold Baines. That's Harold Baines? <laughs> wow. Um I can't I mean maybe I can see it. This guy's a uh uh MLB network now mostly if I'm not mistaken. That doesn't really look like I guess I can kinda tell maybe it's the mustache or I don't know, maybe he's a lot younger in this picture. Harold Baines, okay, that's cool. Got a Mark McGuire. Put you there. Andre Dawson. Looking yoked. Craig Jeffries, Bobby Jones, and Andy Bain Benz. Man, I really hope we can just, you know, find that, that Jeter that's part of this. There's stuff flying out of this one, too. Yeah, these die-cut cards are little things that are flying out of these packs all of a sudden. Let's see here. We got a Curtis Goodwin Prospects card laying down the bunt. Kenny Lofton, man, you can argue that Kenny Lofton should be in the Hall of Fame. I think he should. That's a cool Kenny Lofton card, though. I enjoyed watching Kenny Lofton play. Jose Canseco. Look at that Griffey. How could I forget about Griffey potentially being in this set right here? Look at that. That's a nice Griffey right there, man. I do collect Griffey cards. So I think I will throw you in a sleeve. Yeah, check that card out, guys. That is a nice card right there. Six years in the league already. 306 average. 379 OBP. Yeah, on base percentage was crazy. Slugging percentage was good. I mean, this guy was going to be in the Hall of Fame one day, too, in this era. Since Jeter has not made an appearance, let's just kind of put Griffey right there. That's a nice card. Ron Gant. Jeff Kent. What is he with the Mets right there? Yep. Got a Dave Hollins. Robbie Thompson. So as we continue on, still trying to find Jeter. Somewhere in here, I hope Derek Jeter is going to make an appearance. Here is a uh, insert Ripken. It's a nice card. Next card we got Jeremy Key or Jimmy Key. Uh, Mike McFarlane. Again, I know we pulled his card. Benji Gill getting some uh, air up and over. John Burkett. Ooh, and a Piazza card. Check that one out. Platinum Power. Getting interviewed right there after the game. He was a player of the game right there. Who knows? But there's another Dodger Rookie of the Year. Piazza. Platinum Power. What else we got? Dustin Hermanson and a Matt Williams. Get rid of these little pieces of whatever's. All right, guys. Well, as we continue on with the break, we got maybe about a half a dozen packs left or so. So again, I appreciate you checking out the break. Hope you were enjoying kind of going back a little bit here to 1995. Jim Pitsley. We got a Kevin Setzer. Tony Phillips. David Cohn. Bill Swift. Uh, Lenny Dykstra. Jack McDowell, and Ken Caminetti. I remember hearing that name a lot back in the day. First one up here, Quilivo Veras. Got a Rich Becker. This one, there's a Jim Tomei right there. I get high fives after probably coming in, after hitting a dinger. Joe Carter. Dante Bichette. Dante Bichette right here. Here's a nice card. I mean, you guys may know the name, but maybe you don't know this guy. 
Dante, don't you mean Bo? No, this is Dante Bichette. This is Bo Bichette's dad. My pop used to take me to watch the Dodgers when the Rockies came into the league, and he told me to keep my eye on this guy because this guy used to smash the ball, especially against the Cubs. Seven-year total. Look at that average, 277. Okay, so not the best average, but, you know, he did hit home runs. He did score a lot of runs. I think he had a nice career, I think. He was a good fielder, too, I think. So there's something that I could show you guys. I actually just got this the other day. So, again, this is Dante Bichette. That's Bo Bichette. Father, son. So I got that the other day. Nice bow. 2020 Tops Series 1, 1985 Anniversary Autograph Card. Rookie card. So I love the Bo Bichette cards. Continuing on, here's an Eric Karros. Dodgers all-time home run leader. Put him aside, I guess. Nostalgia purposes, Jay Buhner, and a Heathcliff Solcom. So I'm kind of seeing some duplicate cards. So I guess you could have got these cards with the blue, with the red, with the platinum, I guess. Um, apparently, this last card's got a ding, bad ding on the bottom of it. I'll show it to you guys when I open it up. There's another Nolan Ryan there. We got a Kirby Puckett. That's a cool card. Kirby Puckett. Jim Abbott. If you don't know the story on Jim Abbott, check that story out. He doesn't have a hand. Dude's pitched a no-hitter with no hand. So, you guys want to check out that story of Jim Abbott. Kenny Rogers. And we got a <laughs> Deion Sanders. Yeah, two-way player. Deion Sanders. Rondell White. Got a Randy Myers, and I have no idea what happened to Scott Cooper right here. That card is busted. I do not know what happened to that. I can literally just kind of push on that, and it is super soft, super bent. I don't know what happened there. I didn't really think this break would take kind of this long. I guess I was totally wrong. So I appreciate you again checking the video out. Still looking for Jeter in here. Marty Cordova. We only got a handful of packs left. Kevin Apier. Tim Raines. There he is. Right there. And Jeter makes an appearance. Look at that young Derek Jeter right there. Carrying the glove on his bat. Just like he was still in Little League, man. That is a cool card. Very cool card. We are definitely going to sleeve that one up. But, man, I'm super happy. This is awesome. This is great. actually got more than I really was hoping for, I guess you can say. Because really what I was looking for is I was looking for the Jeter. I was looking for the A-Rod. Let's get another glimpse of that Jeter. That's cool. I was looking for the Jeter. I was looking for the A-Rod. I did want the Nomo. But then I, I mean, I found some other, you know, good cards in here, but yeah, Griffey was right there too. I mean, th this this set is, you know, if you're looking for some old cards and you're looking to not want to spend like a lot, a lot of money, you can find a lot of good cards and nice looking cards and Hall of Famers uh, spread throughout this whole set. So, I encourage you guys if you guys are looking to do some kind of breaks or just getting something from your own for your own PC, this is a this is a good set to to see if you can find. Um, it's a Raul Mondesi right there. We've got a Tony Tarasco and a Darren Dalton. So I'm super happy if we were able to pull another one of these uh, four cards. I would be, I mean, that'd be like icing on the cake. If you ask me, because I have seen some duplicates already out of the stuff that we have opened. I've seen some duplicates. So if we can get another one, I mean, I think I've seen some duplicates of these prospect die cut cards already. If we can get another one, another one of the ones that I wanted in general, that'd be sweet. 
Ricky Bones, Chris Hoyles, there's a Randy Johnson right here. I think we got one of his already, but I don't think it was red. Brian McRae, we got a Albert Bell, Platinum Power. And there's that card again where he's, I don't know what he's doing. Ray Langford, what are you doing right there? Maybe you got a ball, there's a bat right there, and maybe they threw it at your shins and you just try to back up or something. I'm not sure. And Orlando Merced. So two packs left, guys. And we will call it a day for this break. I hope you guys really liked the cards. I know I liked the designs. Shoot a message in there with Ruben Rivera leading off. Shoot a message. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if uh, you want to get this set, if you enjoyed it if you hated it if you thought the cards that i was looking for were not even worth anything then tell me that too so i know but i think they were got a jay buner todd zeal jeff bagwell that's one we haven't seen nice hall of famer jeff bagwell jim pitsley and a charlie hayes last pack up so once again guys i appreciate you checking out the video can't say it more than enough I try to bring you guys some interesting breaks with whatever I'm trying to get. I hope you've enjoyed it, Ray Durham. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching. Hope you enjoyed hanging out. John Numoli. There's a Roger Clemens. Again, it's Dennis Eckersley. I want to say that I've seen this already. There, oh, I guess I haven't because this is the first Piazza card. Uh, base card, I guess, that we've seen. That's a cool card right there. Uh, I'm a big Piazza fan. My dad used to call him the Pizza Man. Tim Nering, and there's another Ozzy Smith. I think, if I'm not mistaken, we got the red, the platinum, and now the blue. I, uh, I don't remember, but that was the, uh, the set there, guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Now we got two blues and maybe one platinum somewhere laying around in there. I just kind of wanted to see before I signed off with you guys. But um, once again, man, we found a Jeter. We got a Griffey, a nice Griffey. We found the second year A-Rod card. And for my own personal collection, the Nomo Prospect card. So once again, guys, I appreciate you checking out the channel. Uh, subscribe if you like the material that I'm breaking for you guys. Uh, I'll be back with another video soon. Uh, subscribe, comment, like the video. I appreciate all your guys' support as you watch these videos. I'll be breaking baseball sooner than later for you guys real soon. Have a good rest of your day.